And Moti, I'm on star status in the galaxy. Butter my Tim, got him calling me Timothy. MBWS brief for the synergy. Sorello Wellness, sipping red is my remedy. Aeromax diffuser, room smell exotic. All of these oils, I'ma need about 10 of these. I get that paper, my nose barely legible. I probably get a snack from Holly Edibles. I'm in that room right across from the radio. I might just go right ahead on the patio. Mama used to blast that Patty LaBelle. Lately, I've been one of old school Chevelle. Rip out the engine, make it drive itself. Cabana cigars, I might like me a stick. When the market is black, it's as black as it get. When the market is black, it's as black as it get. Thanks to Mr. Allen for the assist. Thanks to Matt Hampton for the assist. Thanks to Teron Wallace for the assist. Wouldn't be here without Jay Rich. Figure deal me finna make it matriculate. Done with talking, talking, just watch me demonstrate. Every my chicken the market, the black of the market. Market. We got some amazing guests right today, now, man. Some amazing guests today. About to turn on, turn in. Stay locked in. You still here with? Pulling up to the Black Wall Street. All right, all right. Now y'all see the product placement. Y'all seeing it? Getting all set up. You know what I'm saying? All right. Arrow Max. Okay, okay. What's your name? What's your name? Antoine. Okay. Most deaf. Yeah, yeah, you can go ahead and introduce yourself. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, that's the that's what the Rome. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I'm Antoine, uh, co-owner of Romex Air, along with my wife Toby. Mm-hmm. We're a aromatherapy company, scent marketing company. We manufacture all natural fragrance oils, essential oil blends, and um, we have different style diffusers for the car, home, office, business. Um, you know, we we have uh revolutionized the aromatherapy game, mm-hmm. uh fragrance game, marketing game. We have impacted that with our innovation. Uh we we created a scent marketing machine that's in front of our store that goes in businesses and mounts on the wall, has a digital display so it runs ads while blowing the fragrance. We connected and created an app that we connected with it where you can upload the content to the display. And mm-hmm. control the scent machine from it. Okay. And we created the world's first uh, digital air freshener vending machine. Talk to him. Yeah. Talk yeah. to him. That's powerful right there. Yeah. You, you know, they I he he's been it. had this one going. So I, I saw this a couple of days ago and it's always been a vibe when I yeah. walk in. So, you know, what inspired y'all to get into the aromatherapy game? Uh man, so we originally from Maryland, right? Okay. And um you know, I, I I suffered an injury on my job right before the pandemic. Okay. And um, it led me to, I had a surgery. It led me to a lot of post-surgery pain. Mm-hmm. And they was giving me all type of medications and yeah. injections. Nothing was working. And that led me to seek out natural pain remedies, which led me Absolutely. to the uh, many benefits of essential oils okay. and aromatherapy. Absolutely. And I remember in, so I was out um, a work. A year into the pandemic, and my lawyer called me Ju- July 8th, 2020. He said, hey, if you don't go back to work tomorrow, they're going to fire you. And I said, well, they haven't ruled out the second surgery. So he said, well, you ain't got to go. We'll just go to court. So that was 12 o'clock that day. By 8 o'clock that night, the most I put this uh, company on our heart, on my heart, and we've been running with it ever since. That's fire. You know? That's fire. And yeah. I feel like a lot of people have those type of stories where, you basically getting tried by your place of employment. And you're like, man, I'm just going to bet on myself at yeah. this point. Like, if I'm going to go this hard for somebody, it might as well be me. You sure. know what I'm saying? So, and it's it's good to see, you know, another example of how that looks like. You know what I'm saying? Can yeah, you describe can. that journey from going from there to a, a place where you're at now, essentially? Um, Yeah. So, once I got the idea placed on my heart, um, we started developing our fragrances. So it mm-hmm. went through a developmental stage of just creating the fragrances. And then um, Mosai, he whispered in my heart again. He said, now take the product on tour like a rapper. <laughs> and um, me and my wife, we went up and down the East Coast during the pandemic from New York to Miami, every major city and state in between, mm-hmm. doing events and pop-ups and yeah. um, getting the product out there. Okay. And um, we end up landing here at the new Black Wall Street market. And okay. we, moved here. We, we, we moved here from Maryland to be a mm-hmm. part of the history here. Yeah, nah, well, we definitely appreciate you being yeah. here. So, um, kind of like shifting the topic a little bit. So, you know, we've been talking about artificial intelligence today, okay. you know, and we wanted to know your opinion on just where do you see 
its impact because it seems like it's here to stay at this point it's, it's a it's pretty strong it's just like computers and all the other machines so it's kind of like the next step with all of it how do you feel like what direction do you feel like it's gonna take us as a culture and as a society i think it's a gift and a curse i mean i mm-hmm. think you know um it's definitely here to stay mm-hmm. um i i do like the convenience of it mm-hmm. but at the same time um it takes away the ability to, you know, think. Right. You know, you know, we don't have to think about too much no more. Right. You know? Um, so we could push a button and things will pop up for us. Mm-hmm. Um, in a way that's good, but for a child that's developing, mm-hmm. you know, that's not good because you to me you're gonna have a a lot of undeveloped dependent beings being dependent on things outside of themselves. Right. You know, you know, so it's, it's, it's a fine line between convenience right. and, you know, the, you know, um, people development, right. Kids developing. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm still learning, you know, myself right. in the beginning stages yeah, of learning. We all are, of, you know, right. So it's, 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 so I just see it as a gift and a curse. You know what I'm saying? I okay. think it's a gift for people that has, matured already right as some type of you know uh, you know at least you're in your 20s right yeah you, know what I'm saying? you done you seen know, reality yeah, outside yeah, of it yeah, yeah. yeah at least you're in your 20s you know you know it's a sp- right right yeah right, exactly but for kids and you know young you know teenagers it's i think it's a curse right there right you know so we'll yeah. see you know <laughs> yeah you know, and hey, that's really how it is too like we'll see like yeah. we gonna have to just see because we'll all the way know yeah so it's yeah no doubt most definitely yeah no nah, that's powerful because um you know i think that's been the the general consensus with with the, all the other guests is like it is a gift and a curse you know and i think we na- now have to be intentional about discernment even more because i mean in general we've always had to discern but now it's getting even trickier right. you know because you can you know, when you log into certain social media, now you got to prove that you're not a robot. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or or even like you were saying, like, it don't want you to think. So it's like, do I even want something to not, I mean, to think for me? Like, right. do I even value thinking anymore? Like, right. it forces us to ask a lot of philosophical questions. Right. And I think it, it could be an opportunity. I think, honestly, I kind of think it's going to be a little bit of both. Like, I, I feel so like, too. you know, I think life in a sense is like winners and losers. You know, people may not always want to look at it like that, but I feel like it's going to become more obvious that that's what it kind of is, you know? Sure. Because like you said, if, if, if children are undeveloped, underdeveloped, then then now they're trying to use all these machines and whatnot and all of the things that they give birth to will you know mentally will reflect that you know and it'll be a downward spiral so fast versus the opposite where if you're fully mature in reality outside of what these machines can give you now you can see the true value of everything right and i don't know it seems like it's gonna be accelerated too because like i think you just sent me something on instagram where like chat gp just dropped a whole nother update that just changed the whole trajectory of it again and it's like Man, so apparently, like the AI, like the uh, you know Chat GPT, that's kind of like the main AI that people know about. But basically, what they doing is not only supercharging it, so it's super fast. You know, it's more up to date, but also it's got all these different aspects, like you saying, to help you not think. So if you need, if you like you saying wanting to start your business from scratch, it'll have an expert telling you the exact business plan or how you need to go about it and then it'll also tell you like the marketing plan too so now it's giving you step by step on how to implement it plus it's all these different plugins so like uh they got ai generated art hey this is Antoine, ceo and co-owner of aromex air the number one aromatherapy and scent marketing company on the planet today i would like to tell you about some of our products we have all natural fragrances for your car, home, and business. Check us out. Hello, my name is Toby. I'm the COO and co-founder of Aroma. 
Mixed Hair. Here we have our all natural essential oil blended scents, perfect for deodorizing and cleansing any space for your home, your car, or your business. 